and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Itisele Kisho, aka Black Swan. For those of you who are Wabon Lee, that's Kimana, you always watch my things. Love you so much. Today on my channel, I have a very bum day. Hi, guys. <laughs> As you can see by the title of this video, we are doing Never Have I Ever Questions. And if you have done something you're gonna take a sip of champagne hey. my gloves, cling, cling. <laughs> wait i need a sip i'm thirsty wow never have i ever cheat um cheated on a test oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. but it was in high school was was it it? <laughs> exam even exam dude so there was someone who uh used to give us like the papers mm -hmm. So yeah, my mom's gonna see this anyway. It was in varsity. I'm a changed person, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm <laughs> Yes, yes. Okay. Never have I stolen my parents' car. Okay, I have. I haven't. I'm a good girl. <laughs> Where were you going? <laughs> it was like in high school when my parents were not around. Mm -hmm. I think I started driving when I was 16. Mm -hmm. So it was just that thing of I can drive. No, it's like groove or whatever, but, just, oh, but like just that thing of I can drive, you know? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Never have I ever swam naked in a pool or a beach. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, when did, you, when did you skinny dip? <laughs> um, I was in Bali. And we had like our own private villa you pool. You man. Yeah, I was your man. I'm not gonna say what happened. We did it at Demi's birthday party. Oh yeah. Yeah, so that's when I skinny dipped. Never have I ever been caught red-handed having sex. Can <laughs> 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 you need a refill? I can't do it. Are you joking? Who <laughs> was yours? Swaziland. By who? So what happened was obviously, and then somebody just like opened the door, and like you know we were, yeah, <laughs> it was interesting. Yo, well, mine is lit. What Do happened with you? And this was the first and last time anyone has ever caught me having mm -hmm. sex. But I was, oh Jesus, save me! I got caught by my dad having sex when I was in my first job. That is too lit. Lit, dude. Like, <gasps> oath to God, ten fingers on the holy Bible. Oh, because it was just literally lit. like I got caught having sex. It was so bad, and then I got into so much trouble. No, obviously, like yo, uh -uh. never have I ever had a one night stand. You yeah. have. Yeah. What do you like? I'm for real. Why did you look down like that? No, I'm just like, no, I've just never had a one night stand. I've also never had a one night stand. You good girls. <laughs> oh, never have I ever fantasized sexually about someone. <sighs> Come on, like. <laughs> I can't even point out when, but like. Who? Okay, but you can't say who. Cause, yeah. It's a normal thing to do, you know? Okay, maybe it's not normal. Yo, now I sound like such a sexual person. <laughs> but I think when you really, really love someone or like someone, then you just always think about them, you know. Even like the way they touch you or like kiss you type of thing. To be honest with you guys, I just fantasized about like, I have the weirdest like fantasies. That's just like so crazy. <laughs> legit, like, legit crazy. <laughs> like I'd be at a place and I'm looking at this hot guy and like I just be like, yo, shucks, okay. Not someone I love, just like from a distance and yeah. <laughs> Never have I ever been unfaithful. Unfaithful how? Like cheating? Cheating. I'm not even gonna ask yeah, why. Yeah, no, we like, should <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever bribed a cop. Oh my goodness, I have. When was yours? Drunk driving. 
Yes, drunk driving. Mine, Mine was actually interesting. I was driving my boyfriend at the time's car. And it had no number plates in front. So I'm just like cruising, you know, it's a big car. Then I just see a car going whoop. And I'm like, oh my goodness. He stops me and he's like, license. I'm like, okay. And he's like, can I? He's like, we No, before he said that, it's like, were you drinking? I'm like, mm mm. Rule number one, tell the truth. <laughs> you told the truth. No, I didn't. I was just like, mm mm. I wasn't drinking. So, okay, let me breathalyze you. Oh my goodness. So, you know, like, you know when you're sober, but you had been drinking alcohol? So, like, I just thought it's not going to pick up. Yeah. It said fail, and yeah, the rest was history. <laughs> the rest was history. Yours is better. Mine was, um, I was with me and Demi, I think. Yeah, yeah we were driving from Ravonia to the club. Okay, first of all, <laughs> the friends that we were going to meet up with told us that don't drive to the club, like Uber. So mm. we tried to Uber, and twice the Ubers cancelled on us. Mm. So we're like, you know what, let's just drive. We'll just drive inside routes. Mm. You know young smarts going to Simo. And they're always there, guys. So we were literally, they're you know, they stand the robot there. before Sumo. By Hyde Park, man. Oh my god. <laughs> no, even after Hyde Park, like the robot before Sumo. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Right there, literally as we were about to get into Sumo, they stopped us. Now I'm like, snap. Anyway, they say license, I give license. Yeah. So now she can see there's alcohol in the car. Okay, it's like I'm The girls are drinking <laughs> and we're driving, you know? Yeah. So she's like, at the time it's a long weekend. Mm -hmm. So it was a Thursday night and we were going out. So she's like, listen, you're drunk. You're going in the van. No two ways about it. <laughs> the time I'm wearing a wig, I'm wearing heels. She's like, take oh off your bed. Dude, she's like, take off your wig. Take off your wig! Take off your wig, take off your heels, your friends must go and get you flat shoes because you're only gonna go to court on Tuesday. I was like, no way. We tried to speak to them, then we had to call one of our friends who were already at the club to come and send them money. Like, I was going in for real. Thank God. And after that, I've never driven drunk. Like, yeah. I'll never do it again. I think, like, once you've had, like, a really bad experience with drinking and driving, like, you just don't Don't do it. Yeah. yeah. You, like, you it's really traumatizing. Because your life can just, like, vanish. Like, you can ruin your life just like that. No. Never have I ever stalked an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend. Okay, well, when you say boyfriend, on social media. I even have an account that's... <laughs> As girls, we should have, have, like, have, I have a I stalker account. I have a stalker account. doesn't have a stalker account. I just have a, like, I'm not condoning it, but if you... Mm -hmm. I think I'm the only girl who doesn't have a stalker account. I legit don't have a stalker account. Like, if I want to see your things, I'm going to see your things with my account. I want you to see that I saw whatever you posted. What is just like a crazy girl and then like, you know? Nah, even the girl who he's dating them sorry about that even the girl who he's dating there i want them to see that i saw your post there's no need to hide like oh can i use your instagram to nah place it head on never have i ever had an open relationship oh okay let's say knowingly you know when you when you so there's dating and being in a relationship. When you're dating, you're speaking to a couple of people, right? Mm -hmm. Before, it's like the stage before you get into a relationship. Mm -hmm. So when you're in a relationship, meaning committed to one person, mm -hmm. you had it open, like I tell you that, babe, you and I are both dating other people, that type of open relationship. So you've been in one. Like when me and the guy know we're dating other people, yes. but we're still together, yes. we're still having a thing. Yes. <laughs> like but i feel like if you do something like that then it's not even like a romantic relationship like it's an agreement let's not call it a relationship let's say it's an agreement it's a contract it's an agreement so you basically say you're in a contract everything is a contract but that is precisely <laughs> an agreement <laughs> i feel like that's a, that's like but i think that's like when i was super super young like maybe like, oh so it was like very yeah. experimental yeah, it was very experimental, like at a very young age. I was like, oh, let me try to do this, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But now at the age that I'm at, I don't think I could ever do that. I, mean, I don't think I can do that. Like, I, I am yeah. trying to shame my man 
Guys, like I'm a strong believer of polygamist, so. <laughs> but look, I, I, polygamy is a very contradictory topic. Mm -hmm. But the only time I would be in a polygamous marriage mm -hmm. is if I'm the second wife. I will never be the sec first wife. That, that that thing is painful. Have you ever like re has your boyfriend cheated on you? You, you feel that pain. Yeah, no, sure. So now imagine being married to someone and you have kids with someone, and then them coming to tell you that, okay. Dear second wife, what? Over my dead body. I'm sorry, okay. I'm so sorry. No, but I feel like if you married this person and in the beginning they said. Babe, there is a higher possibility that That's a different in the future story. That's a different I could, story. But I feel like if men were more honest in the beginning, then you would understand what you're getting yourself into marrying this person in the first place. But I don't think many men, um, not all men who marry second wives wanted to at the start. It's a thing of along the way I met someone I really like or loved or fell in love with and i wanted them to become part of my family mm. Mm. it's a tr it's a tricky situation but me if i am the holy ghost i'm sorry me if i'm the first wife it will never happen never have i ever flirted with a teacher or a professor no it's not my thing no present for this i feel like this lecture was gay and i just kept on poking the bay <laughs> It was in high school, it was in matric. And I just kept on like he was he was hot. He was She's hot. a naughty child. How are you in <laughs> high school? I was in matric. Like I feel like matric is like Koratu. Or what? No, Koratu or what? Oh Sali Mwana. Oh Sali Mwan. Oh but I'm Ulu Mwana but never hold. Ah my friend, it is ah guys, I feel like come on, you you like proper eighteen in matric, right? Guys, you're eighteen. Okay. Can so, I can I proper no. <laughs> Never have I ever sent a nude to the wrong person. Never have I ever called an ex while drinking. That's so childish. But we do it. I feel like we all have. <laughs> never have I ever had a threesome. Okay, never. It's not my. Keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just got him and going. You just got keep it going. Oh, never have I ever stolen money from my ex. Well, she's like a mukai, go cafe. She's like a mukai, go cafe. Never have I ever. Oh no, that's too personal, guys. No. Say it. No. Say it. No. I dare you. I dare you. <laughs> Never have I ever dated a married man. <laughs> My mama gonna see this. Mm -mm. This is the one you gonna edit and cut. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever been kicked out of a club or a section no i've never you don't roll like that you don't roll like that mm -mm, they want us in them sections we <laughs> kick out. them out <laughs> never have i ever fought my ex's girlfriend Okay, let me explain. Yeah, explain so, yours. What happened with yours? We were in the club. It was Grace's mm -hmm. birthday party last year. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, I was with my current person. Mm -hmm. And not really my current. It was someone I was trying to move on with. But the guy I had just ended things with, mm -hmm. I, um, I found out that this girl who was sitting in the same section as us 
was you know messing around with him i literally I, and then she was trying to talk to my nigga i'm like first of all you were with my nigga when i was with him now you want to be with the nigga i'm trying to move on with who do you think you is i literally situation. i was standing on a couch on the other side mm -hmm. let me just elaborate you see i was like this net. i literally jumped and i was like don't you touch my nigga i will cut you that's what happened petty lover <laughs> but i'm a christian i've changed <laughs> christ has saved me thank you jesus never have i ever Mm -mm. Speak. Say it with your chest, girl. Dated two brothers. No. I've never, guys. Okay. I've never. Um, have I ever dated a friend's man or a friend's fling? <laughs> I just heard it to be spicy because someone's done it to you. Sorry, to your parents. Don't lie to your parents, guys. Don't do it. <laughs> and I think now that we're older, there's no need to be lying yeah, to your parents. Yeah, 100%. Like, I feel like your parents understand the stage that you are at in your life. And okay, well, we're old. We're like 26, but yeah. Girl, why you guys are so <laughs> like that? Because I'm proud of my age. I am proud of my age. Why not? I'm just trying to look like 22 or something. <laughs> Girl, bye. So I, I'm proud of the age I'm at because I feel like at my age I've accomplished a few things. Not that I've accomplished everything that I wanted to accomplish by this age, but I've done well. Mm. What age did Kim Kardashian get married at? Quite late. Exactly. And now yeah. she has a beautiful... That's why I'm saying that don't compare yourself to the next person because no, you don't know what is destined for you. Yeah. Do you understand what I mean? Sure. You don't know... Everything happens for a reason and never compare yourself to anyone else mm -hmm. because what I can get today You may get you may want what I have today, but 10 years later you have something greater True. And 10 years later I may lose what I have God forbid, but example like I can't yeah, touch what <laughs> well, you know I mean? Yeah It's that kind of thing. So man, live your life and yeah Thanks for tuning in Clean clean. Bye guys. <laughs>